that people want to reduce us to animals and then finally take us to something lower than animals. Let's finish what we're reading. It says several U.S. food manufacturers now include insects and bugs as part of their ingredient list. You heard what I just read. Several U.S. food manufacturers now include the guys have gone past the introduction stage. They are now at the implementation stage and you are going to see how far they've gone implementing this already. You are already eating these bugs. It tells you several U.S. manufacturers now including sex and bugs as part of their ingredient list. It would be worthwhile checking the labels on the latest snack foods to identify the percentages of worms and bugs that may be included in your favorite salted snack. So when you buy all these, your favorite snacks, they're telling you to check to see how much, what percentage of bugs and worms and maggots have they used to make your favorite salted snacks, your chips. And look on the screen. There is one here. It's called cheddar jalapeno. Cheddar jalapeno. Let me show you cheddar jalapeno and show you other ones as well so you can understand how far we have gone. This is what they call cheddar jalapeno. Cheddar jalapeno puffs. These puffs are made with crickets. And if you look on the back where they write ingredients, you can see that the ingredients there show that it contains crickets. Yeah? But that's only on the ingredient section. But what about this one right here? What about this one right here in front of you? This is prime future cricket corn chips. Prime future cricket corn chips. Straight up in your face. In your face, they're not even hiding it. And people are already eating this thing. But that's not even the one that hit me the most. Here is the one that hit me the most here. This is the one that is made by a group called Chirps. Eat bugs. Chirps is telling you to eat bugs. 20 gram of protein. They emphasize the protein content of it to encourage you to eat the cricket bugs. Cheddar cricket chips, 20 grams of protein. Now, I'm going to shock you because I'm going to take you to the website of the ladies who made this and then read you their story so you can see how that Satan is positioning us for a mega disaster. I feel like we are living in the Noah's day or maybe in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. This is unprecedented in history. This is their website here. It's called Chirps, our story. Was it destiny? Whose destiny? What happened was in 2013, three college friends ate bugs at the same time on opposite sides of the planet. You see how they start the story? They ate bugs on the opposite sides of the planet. One bit into a caterpillar in Tanzania and exclaimed, this tastes like lobster. Do you know what is caterpillar? Caterpillar that metamorphoses into a butterfly. So that's it on the screen, caterpillar. So they are saying that one of them bit into a caterpillar. She ate a caterpillar, the one on the screen, in Tanzania, and she exclaimed, this tastes like lobster. So the caterpillar she ate was tasting in her mouth like lobster. You see the mind control programming. You see the psychological warfare carried out on you. Now, it says the other lost a bet in China and popped a skewered scorpion into her mouth, muttering to herself, mmm, shrimpy. So the second person lost a bet in China and she ate scorpion and while she was chewing it, she was saying to herself, mmm, shrimpy. In other words, this one tastes like shrimp. Scorpion! Scorpion, the same one that carries poison in all of his body and stinks poison that could even kill into people's skin and bodies. So this girl ate it and she muttered to herself and she said, Mmm, shrimpy. And then meanwhile, in New York City, the third friend came across some cheese-flavored worms she remembered from her 10th grade chemistry class. 10th grade chemistry class. Cheese-flavored worms. Earth worms. 
So these three friends had experiences of eating weird insects in different parts of the world. And they're trying to make you believe it was just destiny. It was just the way destiny wanted it, that it wasn't all planned. And then let's continue and read the story of these three friends. So we see how the so-called UN generated destiny brought them together. After a few months of doing whatever college students do when they're studying abroad, our founders returned to their classes, cafeteria lunches, and their crowned dorms. But wait, keep reading, because one day, Laura came across a report by the United Nations promoting edible insects for food security and sustainability. Classic Laura. You see how it's working. So destiny brought all of them, made them to eat all kinds of insects in different parts of the world. The same destiny now got Laura to see where UN is promoting the eating of insects as a sustainable way of living for food security. And then what did Laura do? Now, was it destiny this time? No. WHO is destiny. Laura shared the article with her friends, unaware of the similar formative experiences they too had abroad. And with that, a fiery desire to bring edible insects mainstream was ignited. Piece of kick at cake. Can you imagine three friends went to different parts of the world? So we are friends already. Three of us, yeah? And so this one decided to go to Tanzania. This one went to China. And I stayed in New York, yeah? So all of a sudden, I tasted the worm in New York that I've read about in my 10th grade, yeah? And then the one, my friend that is in Tanzania just ended up eating some caterpillar. And then my other friend again that went to China just somehow, for some reason, just ended up eating scorpion. What is it about me and my friends that we are eating all these weird things and it's all destiny? No, it's not destiny. This is all part of the campaign that Joe Biden told you that is on the way. This is all part of the mind control programming. It's all part of the psychological warfare. That these demons want to use to introduce animal food to us. Do you see what is happening? And that's how they ended up forming this company. They call it Chirps. Our story here, Chirps. And look at what they've made. You've seen the food they make? They say eat bugs. They did not even mince words. They put their food out there and they tell you eat bugs. So this is not for you going to look for it in the content session. You see it directly in front. I'm doing all these things to help someone who may be in doubt as to where we are on earth to be able to embrace the new reality. And I know you're thinking, ah, how would they even get everybody to eat it? It's impossible. Don't worry. You're going to see the proof. You're dealing with demons. You're going to see the proof. We can only pray. Let's go forward. And so just in case you think that this is only happening in the United States of America, which of course you should never ever imagine is the case look at the caption of what i have in front of me here it says consultation on transitional arrangements for edible insects in great britain in great britain so it's not only the united states look at what they say here he said the food standards agency fsa is seeking stakeholder comments on a proposed legislated transitional period under the novel food regulations for edible insects in England, Scotland, and Wales. Edible insects. It's going to go around the whole world. All of Europe, all of America. Embracing it is going to become law. Joe Biden says he's dedicating everything he has in his administration to make this happen. And they're doing it already. That's why those chirps ladies are already making chips for you that are made with bugs. And you're already eating them. If you go to their website, you'll see where they wrote, you know, sold out. They even they are even selling out some of the brands. They are selling out. <laughs> Humans are eating already. Because when you start eating them from the chicks, you start getting conditioned and accustomed to them subconsciously. So when they bring it raw, you eat it without even bitting an eyelid. These guys have studied human behavior for thousands of years. They keep passing the knowledge over, handing it over to the next generation, next generation, next generation of Sydney's, of reptilians. They keep passing it over and they keep using them on you and I for those who are not awake, for those who have been dumbed down by eating rubbish. 
that you won't be able to see these things. But it's in your face every day. Look, Food Standard Agency, Food Gov UK. This is it. Look at the kind of box on the, on the screen. This is what they want human beings to eat. This is what they want you to eat. How will you be able to eat? I know you're looking at this now. You're saying, no, God forbid, I would never. But listen to what Edward Snowden said. National Security Agency, you know, that's one of the biggest security agencies in the United States of America. This guy is on inside today because he was an insider with a lot of information. So when he talks, you know he's not joking. Edward Snowden, you can look him up in case you don't know about Edward Snowden. Look him up. He says, people are like, I'm not going to eat the crickets. Oh, you're going to eat it. You're going to eat the crickets, brother. They're going to be everywhere. They're going to put them in hot pockets. Your kids are going to be like, mom, I want the pizza crickets. He's telling you to your face. You're going to reject it. They already know you're going to reject it. You're going to say, oh, no, I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat ro roaches. I cannot be eating cockroaches. They said they are going to be everywhere because they're going to crumble every single thing. You are not going to have fertilizers to farm anymore. You are not going to have food supply. They will kill. They will bring diseases that will kill animals, kill chickens, kill goats and cows. Everywhere will be dry. Its fish are dying en masse. Chances are someone poisoned them. This river has been poisoned. Fish of all shapes and sizes have been killed. Their carcasses are floating on the surface of the river. Troops have been called in to help to fish out these dead fish. They have the technology to create droughts in different places. It's happening in America right now. It's happening in the UK and much of Europe. They are going to crumble world and global food supply. Isn't that why the US is buying 150,000 metric tons of grain? Ukrainian grain and sending it to the Horn of Africa, to Eritrea, Kenya, Ethiopia. Can you imagine Africa with the most fertile and arable land anywhere on earth? And here they are sending the Ukrainian grain to our continent. Doesn't that tell you that these guys know what they're doing? So what that means is if Ukrainian grain is not available, those guys are going to die of hunger in Africa, right? And if that is the case, then the war in Ukraine must be reignited so that there will be global food crisis. And then everybody will have to focus on eating roaches and bugs and worms and maggots. And when you eat these things, you become like the animals that eat them. Your spirituality is gone. When they tell you to bow and worship the beast, like they introduce for you now, at the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games, you will just bow and worship the beast with all your heart. You would do it so happily. This is what the whole thing is all about. That's why there is a Washington dimension to it. There is a Vatican dimension to it as well. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Because it's all tied to worship. It's all tied to worship in the earth. The worship of Baal. Let's go forward. Okay, so what you see here from LifeSide News is Pope Francis to participate in purification ritual with indigenous people during visit to Canada. And he says a priest of the Archdiocese of Calgary defended the plant smudging as a ritual of purification to make the space more hospitable and compared it to the use of sacramentals. Pope Francis participates in the invocation of evil spirits. Pope Francis actively participated in a paganistic and satanic ceremony invoking the spirits of grandmothers and grandfathers during his recent trip to Canada. This demonic practice happened in Quebec City when Pope Francis hosted Aboriginal leaders. An indigenous elder initiated the smudging ceremony, and Pope Francis, along with his deceived cardinal, joined in the ceremony. We'll do a virtual circle, and we'll open a circle here today, in spirit. And from that circle, we can visualize a sacred fire, because sacred fire 
unites everything that exists in creation. The ritualist goes on to ask the four different directions, north, east, south, and west, to open themselves so they can access those directions. The group's elder goes on to open up the four directions by blowing a bone whistle four times. But before he does that, he asks everyone, including Pope Francis, who sits next to him, to place their hands on their hearts. The next part of the ceremony is pagan at best and witchcraft at worst. The indigenous elder who conducts the smudging ceremony calls on, quote, Western grandmother to grant them, quote, access to the sacred circle of spirits. This is sheer demonic. This is not the first time that Francis will have partaken in pagan practices. During the 2019 Amazonian Synod, the Pope participated in a ceremony in which Pacamama statues were venerated. Pacamama, whose name literally means Mother Earth, is the pagan goddess of fertility who demands child sacrifices. The Pope taking part in a ceremony where they were immortalizing and worshiping a Pacamama, whose name literally means Mother Earth, who demands child sacrifices. In my video about the Baal worship that took place in Birmingham at the opening ceremony of Commonwealth, did I not tell you about Baal? Wherever they set up a Baal shrine, there was an Asherah pole. Asherah was said to have been the mother of 70 gods, including Baal. So Asherah, as the mother goddess, gave birth to Baal, the same Baal that requires child sacrifices from people. And so Asherah and her son, the Baal, were all into child sacrifices. As you can see here, everywhere you find a Baal temple, you find Asherah. Asherah is the same god they call Pakamama, that the Pope went to a place where they were worshipping. So that Pakamama is what they call Mother Earth. When they say, let us worship Mother Earth. Let us respect the Earth. Let us pay attention to the climate. The climate is complaining. The climate... So the whole idea of climate change is a religious phenomenon. Take it from Joseph Okechukwu today as the first time you ever heard it. It's religious. It's about the worship of the mother of Baal and even Baal himself. That's why you have that bull introduced to you. And that's why Pope is going around the whole place encouraging this climate change rubbish. That's why they are demanding that humanity be wiped off the surface of the earth. How can Mother Earth be telling us to die that she may be alive? If Mother Earth is actually the real Mother Earth, she will be wanting more children. But this Mother Earth is wanting people to die so that she can breathe. That's a demon, not the Mother Earth. 